Okay, well, I'll put it to Liam. Liam knows him better than any one of us because he worked with Trapattoni for two years. You have, I wouldn't go so far as say you've been an apologist or anything like for, for but, but you've, you felt that he was given a job to do to, to qualify and he qualified and therefore you have to take that into account. But Liam, the last, like the, the European Championships plus Kazakhstan plus today, his era surely is over, isn't it? Well, um, that depends on what the FAI want to do, Bill, you know? Doesn't it? And what, they can, afford, the yes, and what they can afford to do, because don't yeah. forget, he has a contract which he signed last May. And fair play to John Delaney for going to get Trapattoni and to Dennis O'Brien, who paid half his wages. I think we went and got, you know, a man who has been one of the most respected uh, coaches in the world. And we invested in him. The problem, I don't think, is that he ever applied himself to the job as he should have applied himself and he didn't go and watch players in England there's lots of good players mm. that, that he doesn't know about and that he hasn't well, played well we showed that at the start of the we, programme we did yeah, we exactly. did let's, let's hear from John you've been the Irish manager John you looked at that performance today well it was depressing Bill yeah um, putting it mildly yeah and I, I think it, it, it was the uh, culmination if that's the right word of things that haven't been right for quite a while uh, the selection of the players uh, again I'd go back to no wit and imagination in the way in which we play um, you know we, we did well to qualify in certain, certain ways and the way in which we qualified was never going to lead to a bright bright future and in the, in the European Championships itself we saw that and I think what's happened in the last couple of matches is a continuation of the decline uh, whether it be in morale uh, the, the selection of the team since the European Championships and that was definitely one of the worst performances uh, that I've ever seen from an Irish team. And I played long before Ronnie Whelan uh, and Eamon did as well, where we had some really bad times, losing in Czechoslovakia one time when I was a player, 7-1. Yeah. This is when we had the selection committee and all the bad, going back to the bad old days, Bill. But since, uh, you know, since we got rid of the selection committee and that, since then, I think... Uh, that has certainly been one of the worst, if if not one but, of the worst players I've seen, yeah. particularly <coughs> at home. At home, right? But isn't you, you were bringing up the, f the fact that that the FAI are hamstrung because of the fact that it would cost too much to get rid of Trapattoni yeah. to cancel his contract? Yeah. But nobody is going to come to matches if they're going to watch no. this kind of rubbish. No, but you're absolutely and right. And that at the end of the day will no, be a bigger cost. But, but that is the dilemma that uh, the FAI face. Uh, we can't go on with this coach, and something has to be done and th we owe it the FAI owe it to the soccer uh, supporters who come to this stadium and who watch at home and they owe it to the game something has to give yeah. th we cannot go on and pretend this hasn't been happening but John is right uh, this isn't didn't happen tonight yeah. I think Alex Ferguson said empires collapse from within and they take a time a long time to finally implode and this has been coming for a long long time and the signs have been there and you know it's it's sad because this man has been a great football man in Europe there's no denying that but in his four years with Ireland he has not displayed uh, the same mm. uh, belief uh, and energy and desire to do the job that say Fabio Capello who sometimes watch three matches in a weekend yeah. in England sometimes two matches in one day you have to go and watch matches but and see players on them you, sa you can't subcontract that work out to Frank Stapleton I, I was, I was going to bring that and, point Mick, up actually. and Mick Martin Mick, yeah. and to other people you have to do it yourself you can't subcontract yeah. that work out and that is a, a capital offence really yeah. uh, and I, I don't want to um, you know, I, I don't want to personalise it too much, but he is being paid 1.4 million. He's one of the highest paid coaches in the world. And there's another issue. He has been disrespectful to an awful lot of players, young players. Shane Long tonight. Yeah, he's one Shane of Long yeah. recently. Seamus Coleman. Yeah. James McLean. James McCarthy. Yeah. There's a long list of them. Disrespectful and it's unbecoming and it's wrong. And we have to say stop. Yeah. Now, how do the FAI do that? I saw Mick McCarthy in the corridor tonight. I wouldn't mind Mick McCarthy coming back. He's proven since he left uh, the right. Irish job and he took us to the World Cup and I wasn't his greatest fan. No, you were not. No, but I'll, <laughs> I'll hold my hands up now yeah. and say that he's subsequently proved himself to be a much better manager than many people thought, including me. Okay. Yeah. But we have to do something. All right.